Hey YouTube, welcome back. We are fast approaching the month of April, which means we're about to experience a whole bunch of changes on and around the New Horizons Island. This is a very exciting time for newer players, but even legacy players, for the lack of a better term, will see things play out a little differently this year compared to previous years since launch. So if you're excited to check out these updates and changes we can expect this coming April, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you catch all of the latest Animal Crossing news as and when it happens. Let's get into it. Number one, events. Or should we say the lack of events? Unfortunately, other than smaller seasonal events, there are no events to take part in this April because as you probably know by now, Bunny Day 2024 takes place entirely in March this year with Zippity Bunny bringing Bunny Day to a close on March 31st. This is actually the first time since the launch of New Horizons four years ago that Bunny Day hasn't taken place in the month of April, which is super interesting. Furthermore, with this being the first April in New Horizons without an event, i.e. Bunny Day, we actually see a few side effects that we'll discuss later in the video. Number 2 Cherry Blossom Season. Now the most notable change we'll see around the New Horizons Island is of course the Cherry Blossom Season that begins straight away from April 1st and runs through to April 10th. During this time the hardwood trees blossom and small cherry blossom petals begin floating around changing the entire atmosphere of our islands. This is also a significant time as we will experience 10 days of nothing but sunshine throughout this season. Yep, that means zero chance of rain or thunderstorms for almost two weeks, which is great news if you're looking to be decorating outside. Number three, weather phenomena. Now we've already spoken about the rare weather pattern that allows us to enjoy the entire cherry blossom season in the sunshine, but that's not the only weather phenomena to change during April. Once April arrives, it will no longer be possible to encounter both the river and sea fog that you typically see around the island super early in the mornings between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. near the water. This is a very subtle change, but definitely something you'll notice if you're an early bird, so to speak. The lack of rain also means we'll have to water any gyroid fragments ourselves. Of course this is only relevant to those in the northern hemisphere. For those in the southern hemisphere it's the opposite with even heavy fog becoming more common as the weeks go by. Number four, seasonal materials. Now, another notable change we can expect is of course to the seasonal materials we can encounter around the New Horizons Island. Whilst young spring bamboo, not to be confused with normal bamboo, will continue to spawn throughout April and into May alongside their respective seasonal recipes, the cherry blossom season of course introduces a second material. From April 1st through to April 10th, cherry blossom petals can be found alongside their corresponding DIY recipes if you haven't found them already throughout the entire cherry blossom season. Again, given Bunny Day isn't occurring in April this year, anyone farming balloons or searching for cherry blossom DIYs won't have to worry about those annoying Bunny Day eggs taking over. Again, this is only relevant for the Northern Hemisphere. Unfortunately, there's no change in seasonal materials for the Southern Hemisphere this month as acorns and pine cones continue to spawn throughout the rest of the season. Number five, seasonal items. Now, something we've come accustomed to is of course the Nook Stomp refreshing and offering new limited time items each month and April is no different. The next wave of seasonal events include April Fool's Day, Sing McGill or Tree Planting Day, the Prom Season which lasts for the duration of April, Nature Day and of course Children's Day. April Fool's Day introduces the Whoopee Cushion with the last chance to obtain the item on April 1st. Sing McGill adds the adorable Forsythia item for the duration of the Cherry Blossom Season and is perfect for decorating during the spring. Prom Season introduces the Prom Wall, Floor and Sash as well as a bunch of limited time clothing items at the Able Sisters, all of which will be available for the entire month of April. Nature Day introduces the Cool Globe between April 15th and April 22nd and is a huge throwback to previous Animal Crossing games. And finally, Children's Day begins April 28th and introduces the Cart Banner and the iconic newsprint helmet. All of these celebrations occur every April, but this is of course an excellent chance to get a hold of anything you missed in previous years. Number six, 
bushes. Now another thing we love to highlight in these monthly changes videos is of course the bushes that change with the seasons and which ones in particular will be flowering in the coming weeks. In the northern hemisphere red and pink camellia bushes that bloomed back in January will stop flowering as we enter April and instead be replaced by pink and white azalea bushes that will bloom in their place. This is pretty useful to know for those who decorate areas outside in line with current seasons. Anyway, as you'd expect, it's slightly different in the Southern Hemisphere given it's currently autumn rather than spring. In the Southern Hemisphere, red and yellow hibiscus already stopped flowering earlier in March, with orange and yellow tea olives replacing them, which will continue to bloom until the end of April. Number seven, fishing tawny. Moving on, something both the northern and southern hemispheres have in common is of course having fishing tawnies on the same day, unlike the bug offs for example. In April, the fishing tawny takes place on April 13th, which is of course the second Saturday of the month. There is one minor difference though, for players in the northern hemisphere, this is basically considered the spring tawny, whereas those in the southern hemisphere will take part in the autumn tawny, with the only real difference being the fish that are available during each event. Anyway, the typical fishing tawny prizes are up for grabs, including the fish door plate, the fresh cooler, and the fish pochette, amongst many others, as well as one of three fishing trophies. This is always a good reminder that even if you've taken part in these events before, and you have obtained all the prizes, prizes, it's a great opportunity to earn one of the other trophies which you may not have earned in the past. Number 8 critters. Next up we have one of the most obvious changes we can expect to see which is of course to the shift in the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures that we can encounter throughout the month of April. In the northern hemisphere we can encounter 22 new critters including 10 bugs, 10 fish and 2 deep sea creatures. The bugs due to arrive include the common blue bottle, the agrius butterfly, the raja brooks birdwing, the atlas moth, the madagascan sunset moth, the long locust, the dana dragon, Dragonfly, the giant water bug, the jewel beetle, and the flea. The fish due to arrive include the killifish, the crawfish, the snapping turtle, the guppy, the neon tetra, the seahorse, the clownfish, the sturgeonfish, the butterfly fish, and the zebra turkey fish. The deep sea creatures due to arrive include the lobster and the sea pineapple. As always, some of these creatures have been away for months, so it's probably worth double checking your critopedia. Anyway, those in the southern hemisphere can encounter only six new critters, including one bug, two fish, and three deep sea creatures. These include the ladybug, the yellow yellow perch, the dab, the seaweed, the spiny lobster and the Venus's flower basket. As you can see, not as many new critters to encounter, but that's to be expected given the respective seasons. <laughs> So there we have it, that was 8 updates and changes we can expect to see around the New Horizons Island as we enter the month of April. This is definitely a slightly more unique April than previous years given the changes to Bunny Day and the Cherry Blossom season, so I hope you enjoy it no matter how long you've been playing New Horizons. Anyway, when was the last time you started a new island and are you ready for a new Animal Crossing game? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to post cherry blossom in the comments just to let me know you did thank you so much to the patreon and channel members for supporting this content i'll see you in the next one peace